Hey, it's Clay at claycharter.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, November 2nd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will still be moving around. That's because the market's open for a small amount of time still. And I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning that each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one, number one here, ticker symbol AMD. Very, very nice move today. Now the market's had a very big day uh, with the Fed announcement, all that and uh, some of these tech stocks really boomed. And in fact, these levels down here, which at one point were, were relevant going into today, but these levels have been left in the dust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. Yes, they still pertain, but again, they're not relevant. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion and clutter because there's lines everywhere. So we'll just get rid of those. So first dynamic here is we'll talk about some areas of support and the initial area of support, if you like to play more so pullbacks, is the bottom part of this little consolidation area right here around 105.20. So let me change that to green to represent support. And then for more of a broader uh, scope of things, support wise, I'd keep an eye on that pink line right there, the 200 period moving average. But again, not really relevant given that the price is way up here and that level is way down there. But that does kind of illustrate just how explosive today was because I mean, from here all the way up to there, yet this level is now kind of irrelevant but like I said, that just shows how big of a movement it actually was. So keep an eye on those from resistance standpoint, or excuse me, support standpoint. In terms of areas of resistance, as you're seeing here, we're having to go back quite a bit of the ways in the charts history. So I give, I know it's harder to see, but a good problem to have, assuming you're bullish, you know, broke through there. So yeah, next key level moving forward, right up there at 109.15, you can see that the price struggled with that area right there. So if this momentum continues, 109.15 is gonna be that next key battleground. But all in all, very, very good day here for AMD. Next one, ticker symbol CLLS. Nice pattern here has formed, so let's get this into play here. And first part of the pattern is just gonna be this resistance line. In fact, actually that's more of a flat top resistance. I thought there was a little bit of an angle to it, but in all actuality there is not. So, you know, let's just do this. Let me just throw in that level right there at the 295 mark, key level of resistance. And then as far as support is concerned, you have this tread line right here. So again, since that's the support part, we'll change that to green. And there we go. And then to make this easier to see, given I have kind of lines all over the place, let's just keep it one color now. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have this huge explosion right here. And then if you golfers out there try to make it more visual, put the golf hole down here, this would be known as a bull pennant pattern. So while there are no guarantees, is it plausible? Is it valid that if the price curls back upwards, gets to the top part of that pattern and breaks up through it, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure just because it's a breakout? Yes, that is completely possible and completely a reasonable thought, but it is not guaranteed. So if you are somebody that likes bull pennants, you like stocks down below $5, keep an eye on it. Next one here, ALDX, same general idea of what I just talked about. So I'm gonna go through this one a little bit quicker because overall, same general pattern. So we have this area of, Resistance up here around the 265 mark. We have this area of support right here. And then once again, just to keep it the same color, resistance, support, big upwards move here, golf hole down here. So another bull pennant pattern. So once again, if you like bull pennants, if you like stocks down below $5, so you got yourself a couple of choices. Next one, TGTX, and same general idea, a little different here because we have some goods consolidation, just straight up sideways movement here. But in some ways, the exact same thing I've just been talking about. So some of these watch lists, you know, you, you just get a whole bunch of the same thing. Uh, and that's just how the market is at, at some point. So right up there, let's just make it 1050, not 1055. There we go. Nice, even number there at 1050. Okay, I realize it's 1051. You get what I mean. So 1050, key area of resistance. And then as far as supports are concerned, now this is where it is different because it, it depends on how you want it. Do you want to define the channel as right there or right there? Maybe you want to throw in both those lines. Uh, again, it, it's your world, so you can you know draw up whatever you think makes sense to you. But I'm just going to, for simplicity's sake, keep it down here at 933. So like I said, same general pattern, but a little different because this is our resistance, our support, our big move up. And this is more accurately called a bull flag pattern. Um, so again, you don't want to get too caught up in the semantics of, well, bull pendant or bull flag? 
Just they're both bullish patterns. And the key part here is once again, with those self-filling prophecies, guaranteed, no, but is it valid, plausible, that if the price comes up here to 1050 and breaks up through there, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure, that is certainly, certainly plausible. Next one here, ticker symbol AMC. And overall, rough day, especially considering the markets had a, such a good day. Now, granted, it's a big picture of things. Everything is still perfectly fine. You can see here the trend is still upwards here. So it's not like today wrecked the entire chart. That's not my uh, you know intent behind that comment. I'm just saying from a general observation, markets had a very nice day up, and this one was actually going down. First update, just based on the foundational rule and charting levels of support are broken and closed below. They tend to act as resistance. You can see this actually played out here perfectly today. Price broke down through that level, which acted as support there and there. But when the price did fall below it, resistance, resistance, resistance. So I'm not saying that this 1027-ish area can't be broken. I'm just saying it makes sense why that level is uh, holding strong. And then yes, uh, from the overarching standpoint, you still have the 1070 mark up there as resistance. In terms of supports, two main levels stand out to me. And I think probably a lot of other people have noticed these too. First level, which basically the price bounce off of right there, the purple line, 50 period moving average. But if the price drops to there and then goes even further down, next key level there uh, would be there at the 200 period moving average. So those would be the next levels to keep an eye on if this pullback continues. But as of now, getting some sideways movement right here above that 50 period moving average. So that's a good sign of some potential healthy consolidation. Real quick, I want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for my free live online training that I'm offering here in a couple of days. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box, or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Although I, I just realized I said a couple of days, uh, it'll be actually occurring tomorrow. Or if you're watching this on Thursday morning, it'll be happening later today. Next one here, ticker symbol PLTR, and we have some good movement here. Uh, this will mean a little bit more to those of you that watched previous videos, but if you did, hopefully remember me talking about that trend line right there as support, uh, but never really came into play. However, what we do have now is that a new trend line is formed. So we've had this one that was going down, but now you can, and this isn't a trend line, take that back, but just a level right there where it's just demonstrating at 1450 there that the price has now started to go sideways. So we've had this trend line here that was illustrating downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. But now this line is showing that, okay, things are starting to go sideways, which leads to a more than valid question. Again, not guaranteed, but valid to throw out there. Is this the bottom? Is there a bigger bounce getting ready to take place? Now, maybe not. Maybe this thing is just taking a breath and then things plunge. But that is a two-sided coin because, I mean, well, well, maybe it is the start of something bigger. And this thing starts to rock and roll the remainder of the week. And that's what a watch is all about finding unique, finding interesting situations and not rushing out and randomly buying stuff, but watching it and seeing how things play out. So yeah, as of now, 1450 key area of support if this thing does roll back over, but who knows this upwards movement here, is it the start of something bigger worth keeping an eye on? Next one here, NIO, which is the same general idea. So I don't wanna sit here and be a broken record, but you can see right here, check out the latter part of the day. Very nice upwards move. Check out the last 30 minutes of the day. Very nice move. Now, granted, this is occurring in a downwards trend. There's no doubt about that. But so just keep that in mind from the, the overall trend perspective. But my point here is that we have NIO, popular stock, and now you're getting this upwards move, which allows us to ask that very popular, very fun question, is this the start of something bigger? Think about that question. You don't get to ask that question if nothing worthwhile happens, because that question would therefore not make any sense because, well, I mean, nothing happened. So is what the start of something bigger? Because there's nothing happened. But in this situation, something has happened. So yes, is this the start of something bigger? If you like these sorts of scenarios where you have a very well-known stock beat down quite a bit, but then it starts to show some signs of strength, certainly keep an eye on it. Next one here, TSLA Tesla, nice move here uh, in a couple different ways. So the first way is we it finally got up above this resistance trend line here, which had started to become relatively uh, annoying and stubborn, but the price broke above there. And then on the flip side of things, the price also was able to break above these highs from today on that gap up where, I mean, that was nasty this morning, gap up all the way down here to now recover all the way back up to that point, plus some. So yeah, wild ride today for Tesla, but overall, good solid movement there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, again, basic rules when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So 202.50, now gonna be an area of support. And I'm actually gonna get rid of that level. And I wanna get a trend line in place, if anything, just out of kind of my own curiosity's sake. But let's see how the price behaves relative to this trend line moving forward if it comes into play. Uh, change up the style here a little bit on it. Just, there we go. 
And again, that is a support trend line. So there we go. So I'm curious about how that, um, you know, if, if the price comes down there, does it provide bounces? So that'll be the main areas of support in terms of levels of resistance now going forward. Key level to watch is going to be that trend line right there, which has got tw uh, quite the track record here. There we go, of uh, behaving as resistance, which puts that up right around the 207.50 mark. But all in all, no doubt about it, wild ride today, sure. Intraday for Tesla, but when all the dust is settled, nice recovery, very nice, strong close in the afternoon. Next one here, AMZN, AMZN, if I could talk, Amazon, and overall, very nice move. Talked about this recently, so you had these couple levels here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that line out, but you know what I'm going to do here. When levels of resistance, they tend to act as support. So moving forward now, right here around that 133. 35 ish area going to be uh, what would you would hope to see as a support if it pulls back uh, and then of course if you want to just make this extra simplified just watch that purple line there no pun intended but the 50 period it's simple moving average keyword being moving so as time goes by that line's going to draw itself for you higher and higher uh, which is why i like to call moving averages tread lines for lazy people if you don't feel like drawing a tread line then just use that quote unquote tread line to draw itself for you meaning that as long as the price is above that level as time goes by that implies the price is putting in those higher lows and that's what you want now, what about areas of resistance? Well, this we're gonna have to squeeze down the chart here quite a bit because it has been a while since the price has been up this high. There we go. So we're going back quite a bit of ways. Where's the price? Get? Nope, price even broke above that. That's a good problem. I think right there then, 137.85. There we go. So 137.85, give me that next key battleground, which is coming from, as you just saw, a long time ago. Uh, so keep an eye on that next battleground there. But all in all, anyway, look at it. Nice breakout today. The price has been putting in those higher highs and higher lows, and that's what it's all about. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ market. So if you believe the NASDAQ market is going to rise, this one will also rise, and it's a very popular ETF out there. Um, so like a lot of these stocks, very, very solid day today. So first update, this was a very uh, key level of resistance, but with the price now breaking above it, $33 is now going to be a key level of support. I'll go ahead and get rid of that level. But what's interesting about this is we have a potential showdown coming with a very, very well-known level within the world of charts, and that is the 200 period simple moving average. Even if you have a surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of that 200 period moving average, and you know that when the price is down below it, it can tend to act as resistance. So I'm not saying that the price will for sure get rejected from there, but if the price continues on with this upwards movement here, uh, that'll definitely be where the big question mark resides in terms of can the bulls have enough strength to break up through that level? But anyway, look at it. Very, very impressive move today. Again, you have that support right there. Or if you just want to use the lazy method and just let that quote unquote trend line draw itself for you, that 50 period moving average, you can do that too. But from a breakout standpoint and from kind of a resistance battleground standpoint, all eyes on that 200 period moving average. So that wraps up the top 10 uh, list here. So if you enjoyed what you saw here, then definitely go get signed up for that class. It'll be Thursday, November 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment below. Tell me what you traded today. Give me your watches for tomorrow. But those two things help out the channel, help out these videos. So I say thank you in advance. So like I said, get signed up for that free training. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.